Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, oh, he's leaving. Come back in here, little rooster. Go in there. He'll, he'll go in. Come on, grab him by the tail. See, I told you. So yesterday, Sophie got attacked by a rooster. Yeah, that was good. So yesterday, Sophie was really upset because she got attacked by a rooster. Okay, it's not. And I'm like, Sophie, don't be so melodramatic. Like, it's just a rooster. He can't hurt you, and he doesn't attack. Like. I'm in here all the time. Push that bucket over to me, please. I'm in here all the time and he never bothers me. So I come out a little later and I'm like, and, and she's afraid. And I'm like, oh, don't be so silly. And I just walk in, I don't even look at him. Like he doesn't even bother me. I walk in and doesn't he attack me? So Sophie said, let's send Gabby. Gabby will catch the, the rooster. We're taking him to a new home. <laughs> that one. So of course it's not my fault. I'm a dumb. If you put that thing in the in there, just let them eat off of it. He doesn't. No, I'm gonna grab him. I'm not afraid of a rooster. Right. Why'd you scream and run away then? It was unexpected. All right, come on, come on. Okay, everybody says this looks like a hen, but look at the saddle feathers. It's got saddle feathers. I say we keep it until it starts growing. All right. Sam, Come on. We were debating whether this... Call your chicken. friend. We're going to be late Is it now. Rooster? Well, I'm trying. It looks like a chicken. Go down there and catch him. Just oh. open that thing and I'll put my hand in there with treats. Watch out. If he chases me... Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. I need somebody to grab him. I'm not grabbing. Good girls. Yeah. You want me to take the camera? Yeah, take the camera and I'll you grab him. Go over here and How? He's gonna start attacking. You got the big ones. There's no way in hell I'm touching that one. <laughs> Sophie, don't say that. Heck, there's no way in heck. There's no way in heck. All right, so we have three baby roosters in here. Wow, the flock is so much quieter without that rooster in there. So in total we have five roosters. Five, and I thought I got rid of them all. So essentially, out of the five babies that we kept, that we hatched and kept, two of them are roosters. I am so surprised. I was caught unaware. We are keeping one and we are rehoming one. And then we are also rehoming the rooster that my friend gave me last year because he became aggressive with people. But I noticed in the coop, like our coop has not been in the last few months, has not been like a happy coop. It's not been like a quiet, easy going coop. Like the babies are still stressed out. Like, I don't know. But since we took the rooster out, it seems to be calmer. That's what I want. Some mumble crumble bread. I want some bread. Anyway, you guys, we have been moving for three weeks straight. I am dying. I just needed to get out and do some, like, something fun today. I don't know what kind of bread I want. So, we're at the Big Apple. This amazing place. You want maple syrup? Like, what do you want? It doesn't taste good. This kind of maple syrup, you won't like it. It's not very sugary. I mean, it's good for you. Apple dumplings, one of my favorite foods. Gabby loves a good caramel apple. Crispy apple bread bites. So I've never had Dutch apple pie before. As custard, cream, and raisins. Sounds like I would love it. These are our apples. We're apple shopping. Honey drinks. Honey. That's all I want, Sam. Sophie loves these dill pickles. Okay, this is the big apple. We've been here before. It's like a um, place that makes apple bread and apple cakes and apple pie. You guys can see the apple pies right there being made. They have, it's like a big tourist attraction. They have candy everywhere. How much? $10.99. Toys, candy. We got everything? How much was it in there? Six. Oh wow, candy apples were $6.99 in there. $10.99 in there, crazy. We decided to meet some friends here today. 
because we needed I just needed a mental break so I was thinking like so Sam and I were thinking like if we took a few weeks to move versus a moving all in one day like we'd have time to unpack things before we brought over more stuff and it has been really good the problem has been that I'm like burnt out now I'm it's just been a lot of work and we can't even like be done because we're not done I have to get the tack room fixed up before our farrier comes in the morning so that's my big job today when we get home is that I have to like clean that tack room but I like organizing and I like cleaning so that's not as much of a deal as moving is wow this place is packed I was just telling Sam we used to always go to the Big Apple for the petting zoo when the girls were little and we always went to go see the animals and now we have our own petting zoo and we don't need to go anywhere to see the animals see this is what bothers me what bothers me is that she loves him and he loves her and they're not able to be together and it just stresses me out like I just hate it so much because whenever they can like she comes and stands inside just to be near him and he stands inside just to be near her I really needed that break today. We went out um, and visited with friends and just hung out and relaxed. I was able to get rid of my roosters and that rooster that was kind of being a bully to Sophie and me. I just feel so much better coming home and knowing that he's gone. But I really needed the break. Like Sam is still over at the other house now moving stuff. Normally it's me that's go, go, go. Thank God that he is taking over when I just have been. Yesterday I just got so overwhelmed. Like it was just so much work. I just needed that break. So I'm happy to have been able to go out and see friends and just enjoy and talk and chat and just relax. But now back to work because our farrier comes tomorrow and I can't have her walking into this mess. <laughs> So I'm going to try and hang our blankets up systematically. Sophie, I'm going to hand them to you. You do them up. You have to do it up so that she can. They should already be done up. Yeah, well, they're, oh, good. Okay, so put that one with Chino. So on the same hook, put it on the same hook. So we're going to try and do it in on order so that like Chino's blankets are there. And then we'll take like, Storm's blanket. You can always tell Storm's blanket because it's red. What? No. I want it organized for fall. I should go get No, no, no. He can go on the next blank, the next hook. And then I'm going to give you his heavy blanket. They are all done up. You were right, Sophie. Because we them. Here. Doing it in a assembly line. The man, that thing's heavy. That one's Storm's. All right, so then we have Finn's reserve champion blanket. I think we gave Finn's new owner some of his blankets, like his really nice, heavy blanket that someone sent us. That's Finny's. All right, that's Chino's. And that's Chino's. Chino's got a lot of blankets. <laughs> Look how big Lucy got. Look how big Lucy got. She's a Pekin duck. She's hot. Come on. So we're trying to integrate the dogs and the goose because right now it's to the point where we can't take the, ge the goose and the duck out and the dogs at the same time. And we can't go to the goats with the dogs at the same time. We need to train our dogs. Gabby's like, let's just get this done. Uh, this is Sabrina's blanket. Like, we still have her blanket. Well, because they were for other horses. Yeah, so it would probably fit Storm. We used that on Pam. Storm could have this one too. Ellie. Storm would look cute in purple. Come on. Don't she you dare worry about the dogs. Way. Come on, Zoe. Come on. She was so excited she ran Ooh. this way. Come here. She comes to her name. Come here. Come on, Zoe. Come on. Come on. Come on, don't worry about that dog. She loves me. Come on. No, if you hit that, or she'll run. Yeah, hiss at the dog. She'll run away. Zoe's like, hello. Good girl. Molly, don't okay, chase her. Zoe. The dogs aren't even chasing her. She's like, yeah, help. <laughs> Come on, Goosey. All right, I don't, I don't mind it, you guys. What do you think? 
I don't mind it. I thought it would stick out further and it would be in the way, but it's not. It kind of looks cute. Honey's baby halter. Does it fit her? No. She's way too big. Sylvie and Gabby are keeping their girths over here. They just don't want them to get, they want to be able to grab their saddle pad and their girth at the same time. This has to go down to the other barn. Did you hear her quacking? No. She quacked. Quack, quack. You're crazy for saying I should slow down. So it took a long time. It's been a long time, you guys. We finished the tack room. room. It's not completely finished. We have it good enough for the farrier tomorrow so that she can come in. We're thinking we're gonna put her right here instead of having to walk through the barn. Even though we have lots of plugs for the barn, she needs to do Storm's feet. So being able to pull up in front of this spot, spot and then be able to come in and just do his feet will be easy. We'll put a fan in there for her. So I'm gonna give you guys the tour right now. It's not fancy, but it's what we have to work with. So first of all, the stuff on that coffee table, most of it's going either in the house or down to the goat barn. We're going to hang up our ribbons in here. We just haven't found a spot for it yet. So this is our little couch area. Our boots and our helmets are in there. So we'll sit here, we'll put our boots on, grab our, grab our saddle pad, our saddles, our girth. So this is what it looks like all hung up. It kind of is messy, but I like it. It makes it feel cozy to me. It, it kind of- disgusting. Sylvie thinks it's disgusting, but it works for now and we're gonna use it. Um, it separates the feed room. So this stuff has to all find a spot. I haven't found a spot yet, but you guys remember when we worked with a brand and they sent so. us these, yeah, it said they sent us these hooks. Well, we're gonna hang these babies up, probably in the, uh, in the like out in the barn. This is the barn, this is the blanket area. I like it. I didn't want the blankets there at first, but now I like it. It just makes it feel cozy. I like spaces. I like spaces like this. So here's a bunch of our stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna organize this a little better. It's mostly organized with like cleaning stuff and then grooming stuff. Um, here are a bunch of our buckets. We don't have all of our buckets here yet. We brought this shelf over. So uh, this is our feed room. It's not fancy obviously but it's moderately clean get the garbage there um a little carpet we have room to grow like this is the room i was most worried about because it, there's not a lot of space in here to put anything but we have that shelf over there so any like more supplements that we buy and stuff we can put over there so i'm happy about that here is the room from this angle over there is all sam stuff and then behind is storage and you guys saw the saddle area. That's what it's looking like so far. Over here, I really like this cabinet. It's messy inside. Uh, it holds our Western pads. And then inside we have like, I have more helmets. I have Gr Brooklyn's helmet that's gonna go in there. And then I have like all the things that we don't use all the time in here. And then our boots, which are a mess, which we're gonna clean up and our boot bags and stuff. And my stuff's still in the trailer, so not even all of our stuff is over here yet. So that's what's in there. I love that it closes. And that's it. We have our like little sitting area. And then once this gets all cleaned off, it will get cleaned off. I really wanna hang ribbons out here though. Oops, oops, and a fly spotter. And I have some stuff that I have to go down to the goat barn. But that's it, that's our barn. Um, <laughs> Eventually, Sam could drive his, tra his tractor in and park it over here easily. I like it. One thing less to do, one thing. Um, like I said, we'll probably reorganize a little as time goes on, but let me know in the comments below if you would do something differently, something um, that you would organize differently or where you would, or um, how you would arrange stuff, I guess. But that's it. I like the space because it's bigger than what we had before. 24 hour challenge in the tack room. Who wants that? Who wants to see that? Too hot. Sophie's like, no way. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I'm sorry that we didn't do as much today. I have plans, other things that I want to do. And it is the weekend tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Friday tomorrow. Yeah, Gabby's lesson was canceled for tonight because of the heat and probably Sophie's too. Sophie's might get hers on the weekend. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but if there are no lessons... Oh, I found your other lesson. I found a lesson I wanted to show you guys that Sophie did before the horse show because she did something really cool, or at least I thought it was cool. <laughs> anyway, that is it. I'm feeling so much better for having had a rest. I'm excited to see our goats. <laughs> I haven't seen them all day, just this morning. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?